it's past comet easy with Senada. And we come your way with core mathematics as we solve a question on the real number system. We are considering real number system. So if you are learning anything on real number system, this is the right video for you. If you are also preparing for WASI, this is the right video for you. Ensure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you can get all videos on time. Now let's consider the question for this video. So the question says that we should simplify without using mathematical tables or calculator the expression with the numerator 4 whole number 1 over 4 minus 3 whole number 1 over 2 plus 3 whole number 1 over 8 and then divided by the denominator 3 whole number 2 over 5 of 1 whole number 1 over 4 divided by 2 whole number 5 over 6. So ensure you don't put your calculator by your side. This one we are doing without the calculator. So let's look at how we can solve this question. So basically for this question, the expression has been given. Let's write it such that we we'll have four whole number. Right, so we have four whole number. One over four. Minus three whole number. One over two plus three whole number one over eight. So let's put this into bracket. So we are bringing the division sign here. So divided by three whole number, two over five of, right, one whole number one over four, divided by two whole number five over six. So we can change all the mixed fractions into improper fractions. So 4 multiplied by 4 gives us 16, plus 1 will be 17, and then all over 4. Minus 3 times 2 gives us 6, plus 1 is 7, all over 2. Plus 8 times 3 will give us 24, plus 1 is 25, all over 8. Right. And then we bring the division sign. Then we have 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17, all over 5. Of 1 times 4 will give us 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4 divided by 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 7 is 17, so 17 all over 6. Right, so now that we've done this, we can work on the left hand side. So we need to find the LCM for 2, 4, and 8. So the LCM for 2, 4, and 8 will be 8. Right, so. 8 will be divided by 4, 2, 2 times 17 will give us 34, minus 8 to be divided by 2, 4, 4 times 7 will be 28, and then 8 will divide 8, 1, 1, multiply by 25 will be 25, right, then we have divided by, this side is going to be 17 all over 5, of means multiplication, so 5 over 4, and then division will be changed to multiplication, so multiply by 6 all over 17. So we want to look for common terms that we can divide, so this 17 can divide this 17, right? This 5 can divide this 5. We would look for a number that can divide both 4 and then 6, and that number can be 2. So 2 divide this side 2, and then 2 divide this side 3, right? So it means that we have 3 all over 2 here, right? So there is 3 over 2 here now. Then we have the division sign. So here is 8, right? 34 minus 28 will give us 6. And then 6 plus 25 will give us 31, right? So we have 31 here. So now we have 31 all over 8. We change the division to multiplication. So multiply by 2 all over 3. Right, so we can divide the 2 here to go into itself 1, and 2 go into 8 how many times? 4 times. So 31 multiplied by 1 should give us 31. And then 4 multiplied by 3 will give us 12. Remember that we do not expect you to leave your answer in the improper form. So when you have an improper fraction, ensure that you convert it to 
makes fraction so how many 12 to go into 31 12 1 12 12 to 24 so two whole number so 24 will subtract 31 and i think that will give us six seven right so we have seven all over 12 so 24 will, go, will subtract 31 seven so we have two whole number seven all over 12 as the answer for this question so basically we've looked at how we can simplify a fraction in a real number system remember to like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and we'll look at another question on the real number system